Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once more. One more time, just we have a new lesson today. Welcome to British English. So we are going to have a new lesson today, and today we are going to discuss about the use of fond of. Fond of, where I use fond of? Fond of is very useful for our life, and it is used to talk about when we have loving something. or someone having loving having a love with someone or something then i use fond of let's have a rule how to use fond of it's very simple to use first of all what we have to do we have to write subject then a helping verb and the helping verb would be here is r and m and if i just talk about any kind of activity any kind of action like singing listening so that's why we can use here a first form of the verb and then ing with it and i can also put an object at the end this is the structure we have to follow let's have some examples let's have an example if i just talk about my loving thing if i just talk about myself then i can write down i I am fond of singing songs. What does it mean? It means that I love singing songs. So that is called fond of. Let's have one more example. If I just talk about my brother, my brother is fond of playing games. here i'm just talking about a thing that which my brother loves to do my brother loves to playing games and in the other way i can talk about my brother is fond of playing games one more example with plural like they are fond of watching television or we can also write down watching tv okay so that's why here i am going to tell you one more thing that if i just talk about a singular person like i then i use am here if i just talk about my brother is already a single then i use is here if i just talk about more than one person i use are here is it clear so what we have to do we have to remember one thing that if i'm just going to talk about myself and i i have to use am in my sentences if i just talk about my brother my sister my father or any name like rahul sister my brother uh, rohan then it's all singular person i use is and if i just talk about more than one person like they we you then we use are here is it clear so let's move ahead let's move to the negative sentences If I just talk about negative sentences, we have to remember one thing that in a negative sentence, I have to use not. But there is a rule that without having any helping verb, I can't put not in my sentences. So what is the helping verb here? The helping verb is here is R M. Is R M is a helping verb for this use. So what we have to do? We have to use. not after helping verb so let's have the rule here and the rule we are just going to write down okay let's have the rule how to use firstly we have to use subject then a helping verb a helping verb i have already told you this is is amar and then i have to put not and then a we first if i use ing with it and an object so this is the rule i have to follow let's have some examples like we have to convert the upper sentences into the negative sentences like the first one was i am fond of singing songs so if i just want to say no i don't love singing song then i can say i am not fond of singing i can also add songs here okay 
I am not fond of singing songs. Is it clear? Okay, let's have one more example for the negative sentences. Let's have the examples with my brother. My brother is not fond of playing games. Here I am just talking about that my brother is not fond of playing games. My brother is not fond of playing games. Let's have the example with the plural person. Like they are not fond of singing songs. So here I am just talking about some negative sentences here. It means I am just talking about they don't love to do these things. And now let's move to the interrogative sentences. If you want to ask some someone uh, about their loving things, how we can ask? We can ask two types of questions. Firstly, we'll discuss about interrogative first. Interrogative first. Inter what is interrogative first? When a sentence starts with kya, then it means I am using interrogative first sentences. So what I have to use, uh, I have to use, you have heard a dialogue here for your help. I want to tell you this is, are you met? So here the sentence start with kya and I means that when a sentence start with kya, I don't use what in my sentences. If a sentence start with kya, I never use what. Remember one thing, not in sentence. In every sentence, I have to use helping verb first. So let's have the rule. How to prepare interrogative sentences? As I told you that the helping verb we have to put first. And then we have to use subject here. And then fond of. And we have to use a verb first form and ing with it. And as an object here. And we have to put a question mark at the end. Let's have the examples if I want to ask you, like, are you fond of singing? Here I want to know that do you love singing or not? Let's have the examples with other subjects, like, is he fond of playing cricket? And the question mark at the end. So we have to remember one thing that if I just talk about plural person like you, we, they, we have to use are first. If I just talk about singular person, then I have to use is first. Like here in my sentences, I am using you. So we have to use are first. And if here I am sentencing in my use, I am using here he and that's why I will use is first. Is it clear to all of you? So how we can practice a term? We have to prepare three sentences with a single verb. Like if I just want to know about my laughing. Like I am fond of laughing. I am not fond of laughing. Are you fond of laughing? My mother is fond of cooking. My mother is not fond of cooking. Is your mother fond of cooking? So this is the way that you can practice a term. You can ask some sentences. You can ask some interrogative sentences. You can ask some questions to your friends. So please keep watching, keep supporting. Thank you very much.